Man, I never get tired of that startup. What's going on everyone? Chris here, and I'm gonna be doing another install video on Roxy today. So, let's go ahead and get my tools lined up and we will get started. All right, so today I'm gonna be installing the Steeda cold air intake for the uh, 2011 and 2014 Mustang GT. And you have to specify whether you have a manual or automatic when you order this kit. So I'm just gonna show you what comes in the box real quick uh, with the Steeda cold air intake. All right, so as we open up the box, first thing you see here is this uh, giant intake tube here. It's massive. Next, oh, this is heavy. Big air filter. And it's also got the math housing inside the air filter. Got all their clamps on the air, fil air filter already. That's huge. We're going to set that off to the side right there. And getting down in here, we've got clamps, hoses, and other fittings that you will need to install the kit. It's also got the instructions in there and a Steeda decal which I don't think I'll be using on the car because I'm not a fan of decals next we got some rubber weather stripping this goes along the air box uh, seal it off along the hood to keep your hot air from getting in there and here's another piece of little small stripping so you get down this is your intake box feeding cold air into your cold air box and last in here, well it's not last got some couplers down there and here is the intake box itself the heat shield it's pretty big so I'm just gonna set that back in the box and then you got two couplers here that you'll be using so I'm gonna go ahead while I'm at it put everything back in the box I'm going to put the intake together before I start and then I will take out the old intake. Now, tools that I have laid out for this, I have 10 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, I have a TT20 Torx bit, going to need that to take your map sensor out, just got some random extensions, got two screwdrivers, a Phillips and a flathead, and a pair of needle noses. So check out the size of this math housing. This thing is enormous. I can fit my whole hand through there. So using this one, you will require a tune after you uh, run this intake on your car, which I got that handled with the SCTX4. Look, Wait, right. I ate the dimble. It's right here. You see that one right there? This one? Nope, the intake. You see it? Well, that silver piece over on the side. Wet? Cause it was raining. On this call? Yep. But this is a casting. Nope, that's where you check the oil. When you take it out? Yep. And here's another one on this one. Yep, that's where your washer fluid goes. Two on each call. I wanna have a yellow one, this one have a blue one. Yep. On yeds. Now watch out, I'm gonna put the hood down. one yep is that that one that's where the oil goes and then this is a gold lens in keep it safe yep So one step that I forgot to tell you guys, make sure you disconnect the battery, the negative battery terminal. That way you don't get anything crazy going on when you disconnect that mass sensor. All right, so strut brace and engine cover is off. Next step, we got to take a flathead screwdriver and we got to loosen this screw right here. And I don't have to loosen that one because everything will come out at once. Yeah, I got to get a Torx bit and remove the mass sensor. 
First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unplug that though. So to disconnect the mass sensor, there's a little red tab right here. You pull up on that and the sensor should come right out. And I can't do it with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera down and then I'll be right back. All right, so once you have the mass sensor disconnected, you need your torch bit to take your mass sensor out. Put a screw here and a screw here, and I'm gonna put the camera down while I do that. Alright, once it's out, map housing will just slide right out. Next, I'm going to take a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm going to disconnect this sound tube right here. Ooh, can't do it one handed. Alright, so my camera died. I had to go recharge that for a little bit. Now, I just want to show you where I'm at right now. I got the, I had to actually take apart the intake to get it the air box in. So, you see that in pieces right now. I had it all assembled. Right now, I'm in the process of removing this sound tube because it's not really needed. I can run without it. And then after I remove the sound tube, it's just a matter of connecting this piece of the intake to the mass, the, the math tube and the throttle body, and then we tighten everything up, and then I will get to the tuning portion. All right, so now I have everything buttoned back up clamps tight all the screws tight got the strut brace back on and my engine cover back on now it's time to go to the inside of the car and retune to make this thing run right all right now comes the time to get this thing working properly i'm gonna plug in the sct to the obd2 port down here and then i'm going to this part of it gotta turn the key to on my key is already in the ignition try to get this where you guys can see what i'm doing here all right so Again. Turn my key to on. It gives me a notice. Okay, yeah. Processing, turn key on. Now it's processing the data. This thing five point up. So we're going to go to next. Now, the, what I need to change, I need to go to intake airbox. Next, it has a list of intakes that you can choose from. I have the Steedo with the 101 millimeter uh, math sensor. So we're going to load this. Everything else is stock, header stock. Stock, stock, stock. Oh yeah. We're going to click that. We're going to approve. It's just verifying what I've chosen. We're going to continue preparing for me. So take just a few seconds. Now we are loading the new tune. This will take just a minute. It's downloading right now. So now it's clearing the DC TC.
and the download is complete. Kind of turn the key off. Press done, and we are all set. Now, I sped that up for you guys. The actual tune took probably about five minutes, but I didn't want to put the whole five minutes of it uploading in the video because I would have lost your attention. So, now time to go drive it and see how it sounds. So I hope you can hear me, but outside of the car, you could definitely hear it sucking air right now. Just kind of calm down. Noticeable difference already in the sound. I hear a lot more air sucking in. All right, let's go drive it. All right, here we go, first drive. Get my seat adjusted a little bit. guys I normally ride with the window down so that's so I can hear you guys I meant so that you guys can hear me there's so much difference over the car it's definitely louder now just kind of goes as soon as I tap the gas like the sound difference is crazy it's super loud now All right, so I just got back from my test drive and safe to say I'm super happy with the uh, the intake and I highly recommend it for anybody with a uh, 2011 to 2014 Mustang GT uh, the car is noticeably louder I, I didn't do any revs anywhere but I will get some rev shots of it uh, it pulls harder through all the gears and I don't have much else to say about it just I'm, I'm really happy with it so like subscribe if you want to see some more Mustang projects, leave me some comments some, uh, down below. Maybe what you would like to see next. Of course, it's going to take time because modding your car is never a cheap hobby. And there will be a description in the, there will be a link in the description to the intake if you want to pick up one of these intakes for yourself. Now, keep in mind, if you pick up this intake, you will need a tuner to go with it. So, till the next time, guys, everybody take care.